Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen and today I have keto friendly Super Bowl fare. Today we're gonna be making these pigskin peppers and they're keto friendly, they're super delicious and even better than that, they're really easy to make. I can't wait to show you how these all come together. We're gonna do our own version of a pepper popper. We're calling them pigskin peppers, and they're very similar to a jalapeno popper, except today we're using the sweet mini peppers that you can buy in a bag at the grocery store. And we are gonna add a little bit of heat, but we're gonna, this is completely keto friendly, and I know you're gonna love it. So, we're gonna start off with, I have about uh, 12 of those little mini peppers that I have sliced in half, and I just took a spoon and I scraped out the seeds, which are very minimal, and the ribs. Um, we're going to make a filling with one brick of cream cheese, one cup of Monterey Jack cheese that's been shredded, and then also one cup of shredded sharp cheddar. We're going to also, I'm gonna toss in a quarter of a cup of uh, chopped pickled jalapenos. These are the pickled jalapenos that I made um, this past summer. This is the refrigerator pickled jalapenos. And I'm gonna toss in some seasoning. You can use like a tablespoon of your favorite taco seasoning. I'm gonna use a mixture of Cezanne Tropical, which is a Badia spice blend, and um, the Badia 14 spice blend, which is salt free. The Tropical Cezanne has salt in it. And then I have some sliced bacon. I have 12 slices of bacon that I have cut in half, so we have 24 pieces of bacon. We're gonna mix up the filling, stuff it into the peppers, wrap the bacon around them, and we're gonna pop these in the oven. So these are gonna be super simple, and I think that it's gonna be a great addition to your Super Bowl snacking table. I have an eight ounce brick of softened cream cheese. And really, we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stir this up a little bit and get it going. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pop in all of our goodies. So there goes our Monterey Jack cheese. There goes our sharp cheddar cheese. We'll hit the seasonings in here. And if you don't wanna put seasonings in yours, don't feel like you have to. And I'm going to maybe do half of these jalapenos and then we're gonna see where we are. Blend this up really, really well until you have a nice cohesive mixture. I'm gonna give this a bit of a taste. Oh, that's good. That's really good. What do you think? More jalapenos or leave it where it's at? What about some chipotle hot sauce? We could do that. And this is where you get creative. If you don't wanna add more jalapenos than I added, you can totally leave them out. You don't have to put them in at all. I'm gonna add some chipotle Tabasco sauce. If you had some chipotle pepper powder, that would be a great time to use it as well. You can make these as mild or as spicy as you like. Again, let's give that a taste. Oh, that is good. Mm. It gives it a little vinegar bit edge to it. It brightens it up a lot. Now, we're gonna stuff our peppers. There's really no easy way to do this except just to do it and find the, the way that is best for you. I'm using an iced teaspoon because it's a little bit on the smaller side and every pepper is gonna be uh, a different size. So just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go get these done and then we're gonna wrap them in bacon. Okay, I got busy um, wrapping all of these in bacon. So you guys know how to do this. You just take the bacon, I have already cut it in half, and then you just wrap it. Now each pepper is probably gonna be a different size like mine and sometimes you need to uh, give your your bacon a little bit of a stretch just so that it will go uh, all the way around the way you want it to. See like this one, this one's a little, you know, but once it's cooked, it's gonna make somebody happy. So it's not something to stress out over, it's just something to get done. I have my oven preheated at 375 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and pop this in there and we're gonna bake these for 25 to 30 minutes until the bacon is done, cooked through, the peppers are tender crisp, and we're ready to enjoy them. So when these come out, I'll show you what they look like, and I will also give you nutrition information and tell you how many net carbs are in each one. 
There you have it. Our pigskin peppers are ready to enjoy. They smelled amazing when they were cooking. They taste amazing because we tried them. How about that? <laughs> and, and they may not look the prettiest, but I gotta tell you, they're really delicious. I worked up some nutrition information for you guys, and these have um, anywhere from one and a half to two total net carbs for you to enjoy each, depending on how big or small. So you, you know, you can kind of figure that out on your own. You cheat, know, cheat just a little it's bit. it's okay. Um, you you need to do what's best for you. But these are very low carb. Um, they're about two net carbs each, uh, depending on how large they are, and they're just ready for you to enjoy. Do you want to eat another one? If I have to. All right. They're really really yummy. Mm. Those are so good. And of course, you can always make these with jalapeno peppers if you like. They're mm -hmm. just going to be a little bit on the spicier side. Any kind of pepper, actually. Yeah, it's going to be great. So give these a try for your big game day table or for any time, really, you want a good keto-friendly snack. If you like today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my kitchen and you just showed up here to see what was going on, Welcome, always a pleasure to have new friends join me. Please be sure and hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you're a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit that bell notification button so that you get a push notification on your smartphone or an email every time we upload a new video because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give these pigskin peppers a try sometime soon and I hope you love them. And until next time, I hope your team wins.